worst thing that you could do in a situation where there's bonus money that is at play is to not ask. Um, one thing about carriers like this, they may have extra money in loads, but they're not going to offer it to you. You got to ask for it. And, you know, that goes with anything. You know, you guys that are out there running your own numbers and talking to these brokers, you know, there's a negotiation point there. Uh, that's one of the reasons why it's possible to make more money working with brokers than it is working with a mega carrier. Now, you can also go the other way and just lose your shirt if you don't know the first thing about negotiating and you don't know your numbers and, and this and that and the other thing. And uh, that's where I break into a little bit of a commercial for us. Um, you know, these are the types of things that we're going to be going over in our coursework in the Roadware Entrepreneurs community. You know, that is part of, part of what we're going to do is we're going to help people to get to that point. Um, we're going to start off with your vision. We're going to figure out where you want to be in five, 10 years, depending on honestly how old you are. A lot of guys want to be retired in five years, so it's a much shorter time horizon. But, you know, really think about what you want to do. Um, I know that up to this point, most of our most of our folks are, are SWIFT folks. And, you know, do you want to be at SWIFT for 18 years like I was? Uh, do you want to use SWIFT as that, that entry point to the industry and then go out there and make your own way? Um, there's really no wrong answer to any of that, by the way, guys. Uh, some people, like, there is a reason why I was at SWIFT for so long. I was comfortable there. I was making money. Uh, relationships there. I couldn't ask for a better group of people to work with over at SWIFT. Really enjoyed it. Uh, but, you know, when um, an opportunity came to go do something else, I'm getting a little older. My time to do that is is starting to diminish. Um, you know, think about that. Be actively looking for these opportunities. Uh, you know, I, I, I haven't met the guy, but even at Swift, I guess there's a dude that's got like 30 trucks, a small fleet owner at Swift. I have no idea who he is. I tried to get some information out of rapid about him when I first found out about him, but they're kind of tight lipped about it. I guess the guy doesn't want to talk, which you're going to find that with a lot of small fleet owners that are out there. You know, we, we, we know the guy that's got his small fleet over at prime. Um, we, we've, we've talked with him. He has no interest in um, coming on the show or anything, which, you know, it's a competitive business. Um, you, you know, a lot of these guys, they've got their little niche that they found for themselves. They carved for themselves in these carriers and they kind of keep in touch with the best. So how, how do you, how do you learn how to do what they do? Maybe you find one of them and you go to work for them for a while. Uh, you know, one of the men that we really respect in the industry is Kevin Rutherford. And I remember years ago, he said that there was a point in his career when he was still driving trucks. He actually went to work for a guy for free for three months to learn the overdimensional flatbed business. Literally just told the guy, I will drive for you for free if you teach me this business. He learned the business, went and made money at it, and then moved into, I think after that, he probably was pretty close when he went into FedEx and did that. Uh, but yeah, ask questions of these people and then come back to the group and teach us what you've learned. That's the, that's the value of what we put together. You know, we have our little classes, our little discussions that we do, but the real value of, of the community that we've tried to, to bring to you guys is that community, the actual community itself. So, uh, there's a concept called a mastermind where you get so many people together that no matter what the question is, somebody's got an answer. That that's that's the that's the end point that we're working for.